Hello, my lovely, lovely, lovely subscribers. We are back. I have a t-shirt on. I just woke up in the morning. I am super tired having my morning tea or whatnot. But basically, if you want information on this hair, I'll probably do um, a video later, but I'll put it down in the description. So when I wake up on time and I actually have time to do my face, a lot of you guys are asking, what is my everyday routine? And I know I look so gorgeous, you guys want to know the secret. But make sure that you thumbs up this video, like it, comment, subscribe down below. Any suggestions for makeup tutorials you want to see in the future? So this is pretty much what I look like when I wake up. My face is already washed. My lips already have lip chap on them. And so the first thing that I use is my Rimmel Primer. And I'll put the proper names for stuff down in the description. But I just put this on my face to prime it and make sure that my... Um, BB cream and my concealers and my powders last all day long and they're not moving and I just rub that all over my face to get a really nice coverage really nice thin layer so when I'm done with that I work on my brows and so I use my elf um, coffee colored eyeliner that I think is like three dollars and I use my Anastasia Beverly dip brow pomade in the color ebony and so I use the elf color because it's a really light chocolate at the beginning of my brows so that they won't be too harsh and I won't have brick brow and I just kind of blend that back Take a spoolie and brush it through so that it looks really, really natural. Like I said, this is my everyday look, so it's not glammed up or anything. And excuse my hair. Like I said, I really just woke up, so I got fluff in it and all this other gray stuff. Um, and then I use my Anesthesia Beverly Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony to fill in the tail and give it a deeper color. Make sure it matches my hair. And then I use my NYX Concealer Palette in the Tone Deep, and I use... The color in the top right corner to kind of go underneath my brows it's like one shade lighter than my actual skin color just to give like a natural highlight without having to do too much like I said I'm not getting glam so there's no need for me to use like a super light color and I just pull that color down make sure I clean up my brow really really nice and I just use my finger to blend it out and I do that on both sides. And then I take that same tone and I mix it with the deepest color in the palette to get a tone, the exact color of my skin tone. And the reason I do that is because I don't want halo brows. Like I don't want my brows to glow when I take pictures. It's an everyday look. So I want it to look as natural as possible. And by using a concealer, the same color as my skin on top, it kind of takes away that glammy halo brow two lights on the top effect that you get so I'm doing the same thing I did on the bottom I'm just pulling that up and using my finger to blend it out And so when I'm done with my brows, as you can see, I have pretty clear skin, so I don't see the need to use heavy foundation every day. So I use my BB cream, and it's from Black Radiance in the color Honey Amber. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same color as my skin. That's really why I like it. It's very light coverage, and I use my Beauty Blender to play the drums on my face. I'm just kidding. I blend it out as best as possible. Make sure I get like a really light coat all over my face. And I'm just blending that around my mouth area. And pretty much the lower part of my face is really dark. or Well, I guess darker than the rest of my face. So I try to make sure that I get a really good coverage there. And then I just blend out the product on my nose, on my forehead, just all over my face until it's all covered in brown stuff. Blend, blend, blend. Can never blend too much, you guys. Ever. Can never blend too much. So, as you can see, I still have a few dark marks on my face. 
um, in the center of my nose, on the sides of my nose, right where my glasses and on the creases of my nose. So I just use that same concealer I use on the top of my brows to clean up and cover those marks. I'm not using a correcting, a color corrector, like an orange or anything, because like I said, it's an everyday look. So I'm not trying to super cover it. I'm just trying to like make it fade a little bit better. And this does the job. Like I said, they're not super dark marks, like they're not black. So I don't really have to put that much product over them. Just a little some some to get some extra coverage. And that went by really fast. But um, that was my NYX. My NYX. That was my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW40. My MAC foundation color is NW45. So I just got one shade above that to get like a natural highlight. And I use one pump every time I do my face. And I put half a pump on one side and half a pump on the other. And I'm blending that out underneath my eyes. And I use whatever's remaining on the beauty blender on my chin, on my forehead, on my nose. You guys know this routine. Y'all know it. Y'all professionals. And I just pretty much use whatever's left to highlight the rest of my face. And I use my Black Opal um, Deluxe Finishing Powder in the Tone Medium to set my highlight. I'm not letting it bake because, like I said, I'm not doing a glam look, you guys. So I don't really have to um, set it that long since it's not that much product in the first place. But I just put that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, anywhere I put the concealer. And so then I pretty much just use my Black Radiance Finishing Powder in um, the shade Cafe. And I just use that to blend out the edges of my face so that they turn back to um, the natural color of my face. That way I don't have a mask. It doesn't look like I have a mask on or anything. And then I just kind of blend that as well as possible. Basically any part of my face that should just be neutral and shouldn't be highlighted. I just put the powder on that. And slightly contour my nose with that. But I'm going to get a little more definition with another product. So now that we've highlighted, we definitely have to contour. And this is a bronzer that I got from the Bee Supply. And it doesn't have a shade number, I think. Well, it's shade two, but it doesn't have a name. It was just the darkest one that they had. And I use that to contour my face. Ugh. Look at my hair. Shake my hair. <laughs> but I'm just basically using that to contour my face. Uh, I use it to do my nose as well, but um, not as much as I use the next product that I'm going to be showing you guys. And that is my Sleek Contouring Palette in Dark. And I'm going to use that to just define a little bit more, just a little bit more, you know, and really deepen those sections. And I'm really going to use that to contour the sides of my nose more so. And I also put it on my eyelids just to kind of set that concealer and make my eyelids normal color. So we're naturally not all brown. Like we have undertones to my face. And I don't know if you can tell. I wore the orange shirt for a reason. So you guys can see that my natural undertone is kind of orange. So I use the orange in this matte blush palette um, and this taupe also, which is like a light brown to kind of pale it out a little bit. And I just use that to add a little bit of color to my face. I hope the shirt kind of helps it stand out a little bit more. That's why I wore that color. But um, I'm using the highlight from that same sleek contour palette, that gold, and putting that on my cheeks just to make it look like I have that glow. Spotty, do you have that glow? That's what he was talking about, definitely. He was talking about my highlight. Um, and then I'm just going to line my eyes. And I usually do like a slightly exaggerated wing just for an everyday look. Just filling that in. And this is the Black Radiance Liquid Eyeliner. And so I do that to both. Then I line my lips with Chestnut by MAC, and I fill it in with my Milani, my Milani lipstick. I had to refocus my camera, you guys. And that's pretty much it. This is how I do my everyday look. I hope you guys like it. Like this video, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye, you guys.